here in Sparks again with Krista. Krista is our training director in Sparks. Um, she's fairly new here, but lots of experience in this industry. And we got Brian in Carson City at the Fitness for 10 studio. Thanks for being with us, everybody. Yeah, happy to be here. Thank you. All right. That's it. That's all That's you can it. say. <laughs> well, you know, I was going to talk about how incredible that FF10 thing is again behind you because it's really big and I don't have one like that over here. So I'm kind of jealous. You guys, you know, I, I want one because we're <laughs> filming this and I feel you're getting one up on me by filming it with that behind you. We yeah. got to make this even. It's not right. Well, we got to come up to Sparks and we'll film all together. Oh, yeah, exactly. there you go. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> all right. We'll squish, okay. in. We'll squish in even closer. Yeah. <laughs> I'll sit where the plant is. There we go. Okay, so we're going to talk about gym culture. Uh, Brian, you went and you watched your Joey Swole videos, and where he kind of calls out people for misbehavior in the gyms. Yeah. So what uh, do you think? Say, look, filming in the gym is nothing new. In fact, you know, I know for for the business side of things, everybody, uh, we've been involved in filming in the gym quite regularly as the business side of things. And, you know, even when uh, when the pandemic had hit a few years back or quite a few years ago, that was the main mode that I was using to reach my clients. I would set up in our facility here and I'd reach out to them via video. And so, uh, you know, I know we all see this and, and it's, it's, uh, it's out there, but I'm finding it interesting now after watching like a couple of these videos, like the Joey Swole videos, or even seeing some people here every once in a great while, it doesn't happen, where they, they get upset when they're filming, either because somebody looked at them and or because somebody walked through their their frame as they were filming and they didn't get that one set or that one rep that they wanted to get because they thought they looked good doing it. And, you know, when I see these things, I, I have to ask myself, why are we getting mad at each other over these films? First off, if you're intent to come into our facilities to film yourself is literally just for you, so you can look at your form and things like that, great, great tool, rock and roll, do it. Hey, are bad if we walk through there with a client because we're going to another machine. There's no intent. If another person is trying to get to something within our facilities and they walk through your video, they're not trying to do anything wrong to you. Please take it a little lighter and don't get upset with anybody like you're seeing in some of these videos. On the flip side, whether it's male or female, the people that are getting into that whole gym creep craze, uh, we did a spoof on this uh, well over a year ago, Steve and I did with a couple of the guys where we, we um, had guys way over the top, you know, looking at a young lady inappropriately. And we uh, we made sure that we sent the message in the right format. We weren't kidding around in the sense that um, it was the right thing to do. It was not the right thing to do. We corrected the behavior, but we kind of made it a little goofy so people could enjoy it. And it wasn't a tense video. Now, with that said, I find it real interesting in the culture of the facilities now that we're seeing more and more people that are setting up their tripods and filming and getting upset when somebody looks in their direction and they try to label them as an inappropriate person. You know, I, I find that a little hard to believe. I'm, I'm sorry. When, when, when we ever set up our stuff to film in our gyms and we're doing it on the business side of things, cause I don't film my own reps. Um, we're constantly having people stopping and watching us filming because they want to see what we want to see. Why are these guys putting these cameras up everywhere? Why do they want to film what they're doing? We get questions the entire time. People stop and watch us as we go through our routines. I don't know why somebody would try to create an environment where they were setting that up if somebody stopped and looked their way to try to label them as an inappropriate person within our facilities or any facility because they looked in your direction to see what you were doing. Now, granted, you know, what was in their mind? We have no idea. You know, was it inappropriate for them to look at you? Look, there's a lot of circumstances, I'm sure, where they could be glaring at you in an inappropriate way. I'm sure that all exists. I'm not denying that. But we got to lighten up and quit trying to trap people being the bad guy in our facilities. If you have an issue with somebody in one of these facilities, go to the team. 
Go to that management team, report it to them. If there is a, there is a way that we can address this, if there's somebody acting inappropriately within our facilities, we will address it. We're not afraid to do that. But let's kind of start minding our own business, everybody. If you're going to film yourself, yes, people are going to look at you. There's no way around that. They don't have blinders. Lighten up. They don't Steve, look at me. Krista. <laughs> they don't look at They look me. at your legs from what I hear. <laughs> yeah, just to make fun of them. They're body shaming but, my legs. Yeah, and we just did a video on that. Yeah, that's so mean. I get body oh, shamed I'm all the time. That's sad. It's what? very sad. It hurts my feelings. Aww. And this is why we encourage everybody, right? I, I got this. I got the kid coming back calling me old, old man this, old man that. I told him I identify as a teenager, but he just now he thinks I'm confused. You are. I mean, no. I mean, yeah, that's too bad. I don't know, Chris. What are your thoughts? I mean, you're I, I running the show you, there. Have you ever seen that? I know you just got here. Have you ever seen this in one of our gyms? Have you ever seen some weird stuff with filming going on? Have you seen it? Because you're in the mornings. I've never seen it in any of our gyms in 30 years. Have Have you seen it? Either one of you? I haven't seen it here in the facilities. No, not. I mean, I do I, see filming. Really? Yeah, I do morning. see filming in the morning. You're in there but, early, like at five in the morning. Yes, but nobody's nobody's picking at each other. That's why I get so confused at this. Generally, what happens? In fact, some of the the people that I'll lift with will actually, when they're trying to get their their personal records uh, or their their best lift ever, if you will. Yeah. One of the guys will hold it while the other guy's lifting and they'll set it up and they'll film each other trying to get, you know, a personal record. Uh, I see people, you know, when they're doing their squats, watching their form, filming themselves. What I don't see is this whole let's trap somebody looking at us or darn it, somebody walked through our film. But that's the stuff that's getting the attention of the YouTube generation, you know, things that are getting posted out there. TikTok, where people are getting into arguments and fights over this because they think somebody's uh, looking in the direction and it's inappropriate to do that while they're filming. Or somebody, the one I laughed at, it was a Joey Swole one where a guy was doing a uh, back exercise on a back machine and he literally got upset because somebody walked through his frame. I don't understand that you're in a public facility or a facility open to the public, I should say. Why are you losing control of yourself because somebody got into your picture? It makes no sense to me. You know, um, I don't know. It. I, I think what they're doing is, especially if they're going for a, a, a personal record, they want to get proof of it. Mm -hmm. See, right. I really did it. I really did bench 315. I have the proof right here. I think that's the reason for that, don't you? Yeah, yeah. They're, 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 one, watching their form because we're always talking about that with the group I'm lifting with. And they want, they want that captured, uh, their personal record. And I think that's great. That's motivating for them. They're having fun. You know, we, we talk trash amongst the crew about what we're doing and how we're lifting. And we laugh, you know, when a guy makes a funny noise or does something silly or makes a funny face when they're lifting, you know, so, that's a real positive thing. It's the people that are taking it to the other side. Bring your problems to the team. Bring your problems to the management groups in your facilities. Quit trying to police the people in your own facility. Because I really do believe if you, if you hurt or harm another in the sense of posting these films and you're negligent on what you did and the intent, because you're trying to prove a, a wrongful intent and you're wrong. Now, I'm not an attorney, but if that person didn't sign some form of release and you were videoing them specifically and you, they, you didn't get permissions to use any of that and they just nonchalantly look over and you get them in some kind of trouble and you posted it and you put a narrative to it that is derogatory to that person, I would think that they would have a good reason to make your life a little troublesome for a while. That's just my two cents on it. I wouldn't do it. I think it's foolish and I think it's a waste of time. Mind your own business. How about you, Christy? Any experience with this or? So, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I've been in the gym a long time. I was down in Long Beach just in January doing some filming down there at one of the gyms. But I think it's also a testament to the culture that we've created within our gyms as well 
that we are not seeing this sure. in our gyms, right? Because we are being supportive of one another. We are encouraging of one another. So, I, I mean, if I actually saw somebody that was, you know, bagging on somebody about how they're doing this exercise or anything else, my expectation would be rather than sit there filming this person and shouting them out on social media or calling them out and potentially taking on that legal stance as far as I've just put myself in that negative light, put your phone down, go help them take that moment rather than sit there and, you know, make fun of somebody who may or may not be trying, who may or not be, you know, acting a fool, go over there and say, Hey, how can I help you? Like, how can I encourage you? How can I, Hey, can I show you how to do this lift a little bit better? You know, things of that nature. But I think it is a testament to the culture that's been created here that we are not seeing that kind of yeah. negativity. We're very proud of the culture that that's been created in, in our facilities. And don't get me wrong. You, you get some, strange, bizarre people Absolutely. in gyms. 100%. As a matter of fact, I was in a partner meeting with some of our partners a couple of days ago and they were saying, we were talking about this and they said, well, we, you know, we got some issues that in, in Carson, the gym you're at, Brian, there was a couple people that pre almost got in a fist fight over um, the machine in the back. It's the uh, the one that vibrates. Uh, oh, standing plate? The plates? Yeah, plate. the, the yeah. power plate. Yeah. It was yeah. the power plate. And I went, were they older people? And they go, yep. So two <laughs> old people getting in a fight because one thought they, I mean, how long can you be on a power plate? You know, you're working your legs or whatever. You're not going to be on it very long. We don't even have one in this mm -mm. gym up here. But Anyway, they told me, yeah, and then I asked, okay, it's usually older people that use the power plate. So I asked, were they older? And they were, yep, two old people getting in a fight over the power plate. So strange stuff happens. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh, but that's kind of funny to me. Come on, man. What are you doing? <laughs> Why are you fighting over a power plate? Especially if I'm, you're a senior citizen, you know? Come on. I am a senior citizen. So are you. I think that's what's even funnier. We would never act that way. I mean, well, I'm I, down there to get on the power plate right now. You better not be on it. All right. I'm going to come down and film. Yeah, <laughs> yeah post it. Yeah. I, I, you know. Our, I think we do a good job at managing that, though. I do believe that in our group with our fitness teams, that every one of our facilities is always on top of issues. When people bring concerns to us, if somebody legitimately came up to us and said, hey, I got a problem with that guy over there filming everything, and I don't want to be in their films, we would absolutely address it with the individual. We don't make a big production about it. We don't embarrass people over these things. Mm -hmm. We address it with those that are involved. We take care of it. We handle it. That's how we roll. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we have some rules, like dress code. The dress code is don't wear jeans and make sure your toes are covered yep. so you don't get your toes broken if somebody drops a weight. That's it. I mean, people can wear what they want, and I, I guess some people wear very little, but it's never really been a problem in our facilities. But we don't say you can't wear this or you can't wear that. Well, we do say you can't wear jeans because that'll scuff the upholstery, cut it, and now we have to replace it. And the cut, have your toes covered, that's just for people's protection, you know, so that you don't drop something. And filming, we have, we do not have a no film rule. You can film in our, our gyms, our clubs, uh, and we have many different business models. You can film in all of them. Um, and yeah, people are going to look. I mean, if you're doing something odd in the gym, yeah. and I, 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 I'm talking to my wife about this, right? It's like, I'm a people watcher. I see somebody jogging down the road. I'm going to look at them. Mm -hmm. I, I'm going to analyze their physique. I'm going to analyze their their stride. The movement pattern. Nice stride. Yep. Oh, that person's really <laughs> overweight. Yeah, mm -hmm. that person's really overweight. They're out jogging. I'm impressed. I'm yeah. I'm admiring. Oh, wow, what a good physique. I do it in the gym, too. Mm -hmm. I just naturally do it. I look. And you might eat. I you knew you were looking at me, Steve. <laughs> I knew you were watching me, bro. And it, it probably wasn't even a glance. You know, it was a look, you know. But your jaw was down. You were in awe, actually. It's, it's a little ghoul, it too, I'm sure. Yeah, right? I'm pretty sure it was, yeah. <laughs> I, I think you were squatting like a thousand pounds or something. <laughs> thousand, that was your PR, a thousand pound squat. 
Yeah. Nicely done. Nicely done. I wish. <laughs> Wouldn't you look? <laughs> look at that senior citizen squatting a thousand pounds. You know, so yeah, us seniors, you know, we we do bad stuff in the gym, but if you you do it at my age, you're not a creep. You're like a dirty old man or something, I guess. But it's not. I I'm not noticing the gender. I'm no. Oh, that guy's got mm-hmm. nice biceps. That doesn't mean I'm gay. I I think he's got nice biceps. You know, I'm impressed. It's just I'm in the business. You know, mm-hmm. and I do it. I, I <laughs> one of our general managers came up to me uh, one day. I was working out, and she goes. Um, we have a guy, the older guy that he, he, he'd come in and he'd sit at the chair because he was a caretaker for someone and he was probably 70. And he went up to one of our, well, to our general manager in the Carson Club and she says, the owner's staring at me. I go, the owner's staring at him. How does he, he doesn't know who I am. I don't go around, hey, guess who I am. You know, so first of all, how does he know who I am? She goes, I don't know, but he says you're staring at him. So he filed a complaint. Mm. So I didn't know who he was, but I I didn't realize I was doing it. But you get weird things happen like that. I was innocent. You know, I was not staring at the 70-year-old man sitting on the bench, I promise. Well, and it could have just been you were looking at him going, okay, this is, I'm seeing this movement pattern. I'm seeing, you know, there's all kinds well, of thoughts what, that are going through too. what if you're on the pec deck, right? And you're doing the pec deck and you're looking forward and he happens to be on the bench that's straight across from the pec deck on the other mm-hmm. side of the gym. Yep. It looks Just like close it. your eyes. Just close your eyes, Steve. Well, yeah, not to make it weird or anything. <laughs> I see, that's the thing now, you know, some of the men are carrying around, you know, uh, blindfolds in their pocket uh, yeah. so the, the, the yeah. girl sets up the tripod in front of them they pull the they pull a blindfold on you know got the blindfold on you can still work out with the blindfold so yeah, yeah. that's we're going to challenge your balance a little bit. You yeah, mean, so, come on. <laughs> seriously i've seen this guys carrying around, not not in our gyms again carrying around blindfolds in their pocket oh no way i i brought my blindfold you're not going to get me anyway it, it's it's funny that's insane. crazy world. That's insane. I couldn't imagine that. I couldn't imagine being in the gym and seeing some guy pull out blindfolds. And oh, you like, haven't seen that okay, one on social media? Yeah, no, no. Grow up. <laughs> like have some responsibility for yourself and just some common respect, right? I'm not here filming just to, you know, film and, and you know, I'm filming because I'm in here trying to make progress and everything else. It's not weird. We're all working on ourselves. Take some personal responsibility. You see somebody filming. Cool. Look walk away move on <laughs> it is and there there's it's almost like do we have to be divided in everything oh. in this world we have to be divided you know men and women in the gym we have to be divided in politics we have to be divided on you know tax brackets you name it so I think you're right. The gym is not a place to be divided. This is where we're all coming in to work on ourselves. Like I'm going to support it. It's going to look different from all of us, but Hey, I'm going to support you doing you. And you know what? It's not really, it's not like this in our gyms. Yeah. I, I like going, I see this stuff online and go, where is this? <laughs> I 30 years. I've never seen this. Seriously. No, yeah, it's, I have yeah. never seen anything crazy like that Mm-mm. in 30 years. No. And I've been doing this. You know, longer than that. But that's a good point. Maybe these things that we're seeing on social media really are just those abnormal, rare moments that only get all those views. It's not the norm. I think it's in all the gyms that don't carry our brand. Yes. That's what it is. (laughs) Mr. Tan rules. I'm just saying. Yeah. All right, everybody. Anything, any last thoughts on this topic? Just do you. Yeah. Stay focused on you. That's, That's what good. we're all here for, right? Is we're focused on taking care of ourselves. I don't care what you're doing over there on the leg press. Like I got to focus on me. If I'm filming, then that's me. Yeah. Do you. And if somebody's looking at you, take it as a compliment. Heck yeah. I would. Flex and smile. Hey. <laughs> Walk by and fist bump. You yeah. doing good. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know about you, Brian, but I try to get my wife to look at me all the time. She won't do it. How about yeah, you? Throws, yeah, she just throws rocks at me. You know? <laughs> She's like, get out of here. 
Is her aim getting better and better? <laughs> it's it's right on. That's why you see all yeah. these lumps. Yeah, those are oh, all the okay. lumps. Yeah. Good. Well, all right, everybody. We're just having a little fun. Don't be afraid of the gym. Um, Krista, how do people get a hold of you? If they want to follow you, uh, Instagram? Yes, Instagram's my main hangout. Um, my username is it's Coach Krista, and that's where I'm at the most as far as on social media. So I love connecting with everybody and shoot me a DM. I will gladly and happily chat with you. Okay, if you guys, uh, you know, Brian's in Carson City at Fitness for 10. Krista is here in Sparks Fitness for 10. Come by and say hi if you're local. I don't think many of you are local, but um, you know how to find Krista online now if you want to know more about her. If you want to know more about me, you can go to stevemain.com. Brian, thanks for being with us as always, and thanks for being such a funny guy like you are. No, no, no. We're all good. Thanks, you guys. Take care, everybody.